Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will implement a stack using a linked list because uh, since arrays have finite size, uh, overflow is very common, and using a linked list, we can allocate on heap, and our stack can be of much larger size. So as usual, I have standard input output. Before that, I have a header guard. This is for printing and scanning. Boolean uh, data type needs standard bool.h. And exit functions need stdlib.h. And malloc uh, function also needs that. I have a stack uh, structure which has uh, data type int and uh, it is a self-referential structure that is it has a pointer which points to uh, a stack of its own type and I have only two functions this time push and pop and as always menu so we look at the main file in the beginning stack is null popped element is zero element is zero and option is minus one so uh, it's the same thing if you choose one you push and if you choose two then you pop now this would be insertion at the beginning of link list and the head will be the top so for push I pass the head pointer address of the head pointer because I'll be manipulating that and it will change and I pass the elements to be pushed which I have scanned before that and for pop I just pass the header and then it repeats till you bail out it's not necessarily to press 0 to quit I think you can press anything to quit because option is either 1 or 2 so that's a logical error so is empty checks if top is null if top is null then it will return true uh, else it just prints top data so it is kind of uh, dual function it not only checks is empty but it also peaks on into the stack it doesn't pop but it does peak into stack for pushing we allocate an element if uh, the return pointer is null then we can't allocate memory and if top is not null then we insert at the beginning over here else we insert our first element here and uh, how it happens is uh, let's say I have a linked list if to understand this we have to understand the semantics of linked list let me tr try to explain you this say one is top and we have two elements and this points to null and we want to insert three then temp is the newly allocated element temp is right now here somewhere in memory so temp next points to uh, this now see this uh, now will point to here now it points to 1 ok this is the first line it does ok now we said top is temp so now top points to 3 and then top data is the new element where we copy the element alright so that's that but if it is not the case we just allocate an element and we make next null now when we pop if it is already empty then it is under flow and uh, otherwise what we do is we take out we point top to top next and we copy the uh, we have temp pointer in which we have copied the address of top and we copy the data of that temp pointer and free temp and return the data so that's it uh, let's compile the program stack and scroll dot c 
out. I push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's start popping. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's going to underflow. Bam. So if you have watched my array-based stack implementation where I have described the importance of stack, then you will know what is the importance of stack. If not, then you should go and watch uh, my array-based stack implementation.